What's up team, long time no speak. Currently two weeks out from my first bodybuilding competition. And that's actually one of the main reasons why I haven't been uploading these YouTube videos because to be honest with you, I'm completely fucked. But anyway, here's a quick physique update, just showing you how I look two weeks out. And throughout this video, I'm just gonna tell you the whole reality of prep because I personally believe not too many people do a good job of telling you how it really feels. And I'm gonna show you how I eat 1,500 calories per day. One hour of cardio per day as well, less. So the biggest struggle so far during this prep is the tiredness and the lethargy. You get so, so tired. Like it literally becomes a chore to walk up the stairs. Like you have to force yourself to walk. It's so hard. I'm always, always, always caught off. Like at the moment, the sun's out, everything. And I've got like the jumper on or uh, whatever you want to call it on. Right, I'm about to get my second coffee of the day just to get that caffeine in just so I can move a little bit get some work done go to the supermarket and when i come back i'll show you what i buy and throughout the day what i eat and just tell you some more real realities of prep that again i don't i just don't feel like a lot of people are telling you the truth also recently i've been thinking real real hard on who can i serve best so if you could please let me know down in the comments whether you like to see videos about weight gain weight loss or whether you struggle with nutrition or training just what you struggle most with i'd really love to know your thoughts so i can serve more people for the better what up what up just got back from the supermarket sipping on a protein shake over there and i think it's 27 grams of yeah whey protein so yeah 100 calories didn't want to eat anything heavy before i trained so yeah what i put up is the following day i didn't really show you guys what i ate yesterday sorry this is literally what it is like i'm so tired like just to pick up the camera but anyway i'll show you now what i eat and yeah let's go right okay so this is gonna be the first meal during this whole prep and basically whenever I diet, I do intermittent fasting. So yeah, first meal of the day, it's about half past three. All right, just gonna have myself some flavored water and literally throughout this whole entire prep, just like most people's prep, I literally have like Diet Cokes, probably four coffees a day, three, four coffees a day. And another truth of this prep that I don't think a lot of people talk about is how your mood just, oh man, my head is, so I'm just gonna sunbathe now. I don't usually like taking time out. I'm always, I've always gotta be improving personally. That's what I like to do, but two weeks out, literally today, gotta take the time out, gotta recover. And then, yeah, let's do this. Okay, just got back from doing a second session of cardio today. I've done half an hour in the morning, done some posing. Probably the worst part of the prep is posing, to be honest. And now I'm just gonna cook some shit up. I've literally only had like 350 calories today. For some reason, I'm just not hungry. And while I cook this up, I'm gonna give you some more truths about prep and what I feel that, again, not a lot of people are telling you. And I'm also gonna tell you how I'm literally eating like 1,400 and either fewer calories than that per day without feeling like really really hungry and another thing that i really really like to do as i'm sure probably a lot of you are is whenever i'm cooking or anything like that i like to try and educate myself audio books youtube videos just learning loads of different skills i always say to people and i always think it's a really good idea i know it sounds cringy like just invest in yourself use your time wisely a quick side note, as I've gone through the prep, the deeper, deeper I've gotten, the lower my calories have gone, the more I've really started to prioritize my protein intake post-workout. Like I always say, it depends on the context. Meal timing itself is not useless. However, for most of you watching this right now, we really concentrate on a daily protein intake and literally how many calories you consume per day. Okay, so here are some tips again, as always, proven by science to work that I used in order to eat less. The first one is increasing protein intake. 
At all times, I ask people to keep junk food away from me, highly palatable foods, again, like pizza and donuts. Number three is increase fiber intake. I increased my fiber intake a shitload, ate loads of vegetables and fruits, and actually at one point got into some really bad constipation trouble. Tip number four, I think we're on. I ate more high satiating foods like white potatoes, loads of vegetables, like I said, foods high in water, again, potatoes, veggies, broccoli, tomatoes, cucumber, all of these foods. Okay, I'm gonna start cooking over there now, show you what I'm cooking up, and then I'll give you some more tips as we go along, and some prep truths. Another tip that I really used a lot is limiting my food variety. So for example, I'll show you the meal that I'm gonna have now. I won't have too many choices of foods. I'll probably have the omelet, which obviously the eggs, and then maybe cucumber and tomatoes. Three foods at the maximum. Now, if you're a skinny guy, you can use the exact same principle that I just told you, but in reverse. So if you're skinny, add way more food variety in your meals, and that way you can eat a lot more. I made a video on that the other day called how to trick your brain to eat less. I'll pop it up in a card there, and same principles as I just said. If you give your brain the exact same stimuli over and over again, so for example, the eggs and the cucumber, it will eventually kind of get bored. However, if you add more stimuli, for example, like this, I'm moving around, I'm cutting, doing different cuts, you'll watch longer. Another tip is actually mindful eating. So this day and age when a lot of people are eating, they're watching YouTube videos on their phone or watching Facebook, and you're probably doing that right now. So instead my tips are concentrate on chewing, concentrate on eating, really focusing on actually eating. I know it sounds a bit cheesy, and also chewing a lot slower. Take your time to eat. Okay, cool, while that's still cooking, I'll just talk some more because I don't really know what else to film. But some more prep truths are literally no sex drive. Your hormones have absolutely gone down the drain. Again, as a natural athlete, you're gonna be absolutely obliterated. And probably the point I really wanna stress is also kind of minor this more uh, body dysmorphia. I mean, maybe it's just my experience, but the leaner I've got, I don't really notice that I've got a lot leaner. And I don't know if it's because, you know, you're thinking you're gonna step on stage or you know, you really have to look good or anything like that. But like, even though I'm lean, I don't feel like really, really lean, if that makes sense. And probably the worst part about this prep is definitely, like I said before earlier, is the lethargy, you feel tired as hell. It's not even hunger, hunger doesn't bother me one bit. Okay, maybe not one bit. And worst of all, the relationships with people, Normally I'm buzzing, really, really high energy, but at the moment I just can't give people the energy, like the attention, it's very, very difficult at the moment. So this is what I think a lot of people don't talk about again. And just a quick side tangent, don't wanna moan too much, but just really trying to tell you the truth, being transparent is that the tiredness, at times I couldn't even, like, I can't speak to my family properly, or even some of the people that I'm around all the time, I've really struggled just to even talk and communicate. Pro tip for cooking that omelette, put that shit on top. Okay, I'm gonna end the video here. Please let me know if you enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a, I guess, a vlog, just picking up the camera, just showing you and just kind of documenting this journey. I'll try and do it again in a few days time, just to make it a little bit better, but leave your comments down below. And in the title, I'll probably tell you I'm competing in a UK BFF men's physique. I think it's called Ultimate Beginners. So yeah, as always, Keep crushing it, let's use science to get jacked.